let's move now to um, to how we could use actually that FICO generated RCS information whenever we would like to model uh, these RCS objects in a bigger environment with an environment where we have multipath effects. And for this, we can use um, the WinProp tool uh, for our uh, radio wave propagation analysis. So a quick background. Um, normally, we, we, we use ray optical simulations in WinProp. Uh, to perform this type of analysis, uh, but these simulations can be ac uh, actually accelerated if uh, given uh, selected objects are replaced by uh, their scattering information that could be imported from FICO. Uh, so in example, for instance, in simulations of, of automotive radar systems, um, we can include the shapes of um, any object accurately in WinProp and use the standard ray tracing uh, in the analysis. Um, one of the disadvantages of, uh, of modeling the, the objects fully uh, is that some objects can have many surfaces and they may be, and for those uh, objects, we may be uh, pushed to approximate them um, to be able to, uh, to have some quicker uh, simulations and gain a bit on uh, runtime. So the alternative approach is actually to perform the radar cross-section simulation in FICO and then use the results um, of such simulations in WinProp. So basically what we can do um, is that after we have access to that RCS information in, uh, from FICO, as we see here, this is a car and the, the uh, the computed RCS, we can model um, any object in WinProp as a box or as a simplified object, and we can replace um, that information with the computed RCS. So um, the the main uh, condition is that we perform some uh, far field uh, computations within FICO, and as my colleague Jayun has just showed you, that we should choose the option to calculate the fields in the plane wave incident direction. Now, for this type of um, applications and this is a previously supported feature in WinProp is the monostatic RCS. So um, we could compute the monostatic RCS from FICO and then input it in WinProp to be able uh, to use it in this type of um, this type of analysis. Um, and uh, you should also not forget to save the output files in ASCII format in FICO, and it is that saved ASCII file that will be uh, used for the computations. Now, how uh, do we do that in uh, concretely in the WinProp um, interface, or what is the workflow? So quickly, quick reminder, in FICO, when you are to compute the monostatic radar cross-section for an object, you choose the calculate fields in plane wave incidence, as we, as we have just seen, um, and we um, we also um, choose the export fields to ASCII file.ffe. Now, that will um, allow us to use that RCS information in um, in uh, WinProp, where we can just model the, the the car as a rectangular object, for instance, and uh, use that RCS information. So what the com what the computation will do in ProMan is that once we activate the consider RCS information under the database section, um, the solver will go instead of computing all the uh, reflections and reflections on this um, on the full car model, it will just go to the FFE file and read the RCS information. So this will help us accelerate um, the computations. And so here we have a quick example of a incoming car that was modeled actually uh, using the RCS information extracted from FICO. Um, which helps uh, to to uh, to reduce the runtime and the numerical resources. Now, this feature has recently be, been extended. So, um, in actually in starting version 2024, uh, we are now able to support bi-static RCS information imported from FICO to WinProp, uh, but for a single incident uh, incidence angle. Um, so, for which cases is this an interesting feature to use? For instance, let's say um, we are trying to analyze the effect of um, a uh, scatterer. In, in this example, we have a windmill, um, and we would like to perform the analysis in WinProp. Now, this windmill model is quite a detailed model, and we can 
it has multiple surfaces and so on. So in order to um, improve the uh, the runtime, we can compute the RCS of this um, of this windmill in FICO and import it into um, into WinProp to be able to analyze the backscattering effect uh, on a source or a transmitter that is, in this example, it is located about 10 kilometers away from the windmill. And um, yeah, we the analysis uh, was performed for a transmitter that it was uh, set about 30 meters above the ground at a frequency of 108 megahertz. Um, so this type of um, actually analysis is quite interesting for aviation communication systems where um, yeah where the the impact of creating or uh, building a new uh, windmill farm uh, would have a, a, a given effect on some 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 communication systems in the surrounding. Um, so actually, this is the example of the results that we 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 uh, we obtain using WinProp. So actually, after we run our analysis, um, we can very quickly obtain the uh, the impact of uh, C and visualize the impact of this windmill using only the RCS inf in, uh, information computed in FICO. So we see clearly here the back scattering effect of this object. So basically, we expect to have very similar results to those that we would get when modeling the full geometry of the windmill or the scatterer, but while gaining quite some time during the runtime. So um, this is it, I think, about this application I wanted to, to introduce. Just one thing to note that this is still valid for the bistatic information that is computed at one single angle of incidence in FICO.